that just about covers these locks. Now these I have here, I must must say that they are all they're new locks. They're Spanish locks, which I get from Spain to for to put in guns where people have lost the locks, and they're all they're all a little di they're all a little different. The the um, that's a better quali quality one. That's a lesser quality one. And that one. There's a there's a there's a pair there. There's a right and a left. And here this one here is an Italian lock from around 1970. It's all it's put together. It's all rough. It needs fitting, fitting to the gun, shaping, polishing, hardening. Quite a lot of work. Okay, now. I've got to I'll say at this end, stage of the game, any questions? Because there must be something I forgot to tell you about gun locks. Um, that's about it. Of, co of course, when they, well, after they fit it to the gun, they, they are not interchangeable. You can't take one out of one gun and put in another. Um, the parts are not interchangeable. Of course, they are right hand and left hand. See, they go in either side of the gun, right and left hand, and that's about that about covers those gun locks. I, I do wish we had a, um, I do wish we had a finished one. Well, we've got one here if I, I, that I can take out. This one is rather different. It's a, uh, if I can get a four end off. It's a, this one's a Purdy gun, and this is entirely different. Yeah, this one is entirely different. It has this one has a mainspring, but again the main the mainspring is much bigger. It it, uh, it has a, a claw on at the bottom, and it has a blade at the top, and it also has a little roller fitted in inside it at the top here. Now, should you get one of these in for repair? I would advise not trying to make a spring for one of these because there's so much work in them that if you did make one and you've got it, you've got made it a little bit too hard and it broke on you after you've fitted it, all the work fit shaping this blade, shaping the claw and fitting the roller in it would be all wasted. So even I don't bother with trying to make these, and I've been in the trade for years. I have made them, and I've had some bad luck with them. I've had them break on me. But what I do, I get in touch with a, a spring maker in England, and I get him to make one. To I send him the parts of the old spring, and I get him to make one. This is a Purdy, and it's a very expensive job to replace a spring, but again, it's an expensive gun, so it doesn't really matter. I've got a little t tool here, which this is very ingenious. There's a there's a little there's a little cam at the top of the at the top of the lock, which presses on the roller in the spring. Now this this cam is pushed or pushed backwards by a rod that comes through the bar of the action from uh, a cam at the front. Well, I'll say there is another name for that part, but I can't remember it. There's a cam at the front, which is pushed down when the gun is closed. And this, this, 
this little cam here is pushed down and it compresses the mainspring like I'm compressing it with this tool. You've got to have a tool like this to operate this lock with it if it's not in the gun. So you can, you can, that compresses the spring. Now, when you fire the gun, you lift up the sears while pulling the trigger. The hammer goes forward. It hits the firing pin and then it rebounds very slightly off the firing pin, a matter of about a 30 second of an inch. So it kind of hits the stock and it comes back a little bit. Now, I'll release this and that lock will cock itself. It'll cock all on its own. It's, it's cocked itself. And that's what happens when you open the gun. It just, it, the lock cocks itself. So, it's an ingenious little bit of mechanism, really. And uh, there we go, I've cocked the lock, fired it, and it's, that slipped off, but I'll do that again. And we're opening the gun, click, click, it locks, it's, it cocks itself. Now this, this mechanism on a Purdy gun was invented by a fellow named Frederick Beasley. And uh, I either, either sold the rights to Purdy or I, some people say he worked, he was working for Purdy's when he invented it. But this gun, this Purdy gun, was made in about 1895 and it's still going strong. I mean, what can you say about things made today? Will anything made today still be going, like a car still be going in 80, 100 years later? But anyway, and per, the Purdy gun is basically still the same as this, even all these years after. Okay, so, but all the other, all the other English locks are basically like, si similar to the Spanish locks. Same sort of design. There we go. And you see, with this gun, it throws its, it's a self-opener, it throws itself open and what's doing, and it's the mainsprings that is doing that. So there's quite a lot of power in those mainsprings. 